Three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up guys? I wanna show you how to make a TV screen. And this can also be like a, a picture in a picture frame. Uh, but the most important thing is that this screen is only a uh, very low poly count. So we're gonna bake the image on the screen. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, the first thing we wanna do is make our plane that we're gonna put our image on. So we're gonna add plane. Let's hide the sphere. I like to do snap 90 degrees so we can see the front of the plane. All right, so I'm gonna go here and just increase this. I'll increase it to like, oh, I guess three. I guess that'll do. So I've increased it to three and we can actually go here to multi-res and we can subdivide it again. So it's 1.8 million. So this is a very dense plane, but we need that so the image will be nice and crisp. So once we have our plane, uh, you just want to make it however you want your screen or your photo to look. Like if you want it to be a little bit more of a you know, widescreen, then this is the point in which you would do that. Uh, because whatever this is, this is going to be your picture, this is going to be your screen. So next we're going to take our paint and we can tap on it and clone it. And I have one already made called uh, Pick Paint. Okay, so now we have our new paintbrush. And for the settings for this brush, let's go here first. So the alpha, let's just change that to uh, none or white. So that's the alpha. And the reason I'm doing this is because this, this one, it has a fall off. So the edges will be like sort of soft. And this does not. All right, so I think the scaling is okay. We might adjust it. Uh, let's go down to fall off and put that to flat. I think everything else is good. Let's do grab dynamic radius for the stroke type. And that's it for this panel. And let's see. For the next paintbrush panel, we want to go down to texture. And this is where our image will go. So let's tap on that, bring in our image. So now I have this as my texture image. And you want to make sure this is white. And then you will also want to set your roughness or your glossiness. Like if it's a old glass screen or a glass picture, it could be like that with the roughness off. But I think for a screen, I don't want it too, too glossy. So we'll leave it there. Okay, I think everything else is pretty good. We don't need to adjust anything else. So now we have our plane that's 1.8 million, so it's very, very dense, and we have our new pick paint. We can start from the middle, and then you just scroll out, and you can um, fill up your, your image with the drawing. And I don't know why it has that, those round edges. Let's see, if I scale this within this, let's see if that helps. There we go. So I just scaled the uh, scaled that down, and then it's more square. So once you're happy with your the layout of your image, uh, you want to go ahead and tap on your new brush, and then hit save. And then you have your new uh, pick paint brush that will be saved once you close the app. The next thing we want to do, obviously, 1.8 million is way too big for just like a picture in a picture frame or something on a screen. So the next thing that we'll do is We'll go here. Let's name this, uh, let's just name it screen and we'll clone it. So now we have screen one and I'm going to rename screen one screen new. So let's hide the first screen. So now we're just with the uh, screen new and let's decimate it. Go here to this option, decimate. You want to make sure that preserved painting is at zero, uniform faces is at zero, and tri uh, target triangles at 50. And then you just decimate down. And I've still been experimenting on like how much I want to decimate, but I think the rule of thumb is until you really start seeing artifacts 
in the edges, you should be pretty good. So 284, that looks pretty, that looks pretty good. I don't really see anything. The edges still look good. So now we have a really ugly one and a really um, clear one. But that's what we want for right now. For screen new, we need to be able to bake from, from the original screen, even though that this is decimated. So this is really, really cool and really efficient. So we're gonna go back into there where we decimated, but we go down and you wanna unwrap. So you do UV auto unwrap. So just unwrap Atlas. And you get something like this, all right? But when you go down, you have texture baking uh, and then from high res screen. So this just means that it's gonna bake from the higher resolution, which is the original one that we did. So it's texture baking. So it's baking that texture which is the image, it's baking that from the high res one, which is the original one, uh, onto this one. Because now there's there's it's unwrapped, so it's available to be wrapped again. So resolution makes a difference. I'm gonna pump it all the way up. You know how I do. So we pump up the res resolution, and then we just do from high res. Maybe it's, hopefully it's working and just being slow. Okay, there we go. So it just took a minute. And there's also this little thing here. See, you can, you can toggle. I had a, a kind of a trouble to figure out how to get the image once I had this. But I think it's also here, so you can include that on and off. So once you do the, the uh, baking, just remember to tap that to actually see your image. So this is 284 uh, polys, uh, vertices. So this is very small. So now let's take the original one and we move it out. And then you have the original one and then you have the super small one. And this one is over a million. This one is less than 300. So that is exactly what we're going for. Uh, now, of course, I mentioned like if you want it as a screen, this would be good as like a, a picture in a picture frame. I'm going to delete the big one. We don't need it anymore. It's just taking up space. So if you were going to, let's just do like a really quick um, kind of screen type thing. If we want to make it on like a, a monitor or something. Okay, so now we have a uh, little mobile little device, a TV or a picture frame. And let's just make sure that this is the right size. So we just want to maybe we'll do a little bit of a bevel there. Okay, so now it's essentially on the screen. And also I want to bring in another plane just because I want to show you. I don't want to I don't want to lie to you with my other image because my other image did have some other tricks in it that you kind of need. Okay, so now at least we have some sort of, you know, if this was like a TV kind of thing, I'm just gonna change it to perspective just so it looks a little bit <clears throat> more realistic. Let's bring this down some. So it's closer to what I showed you before. So now we have our picture frame. So this would work kind of like as a, as a picture frame. And you might be able to see the glare if I turn off the environment and just add a light. Let's see. Yeah, so it's, it'll react, like it'll have that little sheen from the light. Because remember, that's when we set the roughness. That's where that comes into play. If we did glossy, then it would look a little bit different. All right, so then the other important thing is if you, if you want this to be a TV screen, so we'll take uh, we'll take the picture, we'll clone it, and this one I'm just going to rename to Add because it's an additive layer. So we'll go here, Additive, and 
always unlit. So now you have this option here as well. You can make it as, as you know, a little bit brighter if you want it a little bit brighter. And now you have your two screens together. They're only like 500 uh, poly count, which is very, very good. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I wanted to uh, show you is for mine, you know, I had, uh, it looked like there was, it was actually emitting light. If it's a screen, it's going to be emitting light. If it's a TV, it's going to be uh, emitting light. So when we go to post-process, obviously you don't really see it emitting anything, but you can just add, so let's turn the environment off for now. We'll add one light, but we'll make it dark just so we have some ambient lighting like that. And then you, let's see, let's go to our lights and we'll add a second light, but the second light, let's make it a point light. And let's turn it down. And let's change the color to be sort of matching the, whatever the picture is. Turn it down some even more. So I'm going to bring it away and up because I don't want to, I don't want to really see the reflection on there. That might be a good reason to make this uh, screen even more rough. But I would probably do something like this. Maybe make it a little bit brighter. I probably put it somewhere along there just so it looks like there's uh, there's light coming off of it. Just so it looks like there's light in front of the screen. So if I was to add, uh, you know, so if I was to add these guys here, it kind of looks like they're, you know, they're getting some light from the screen. Let's turn on post process. So it looks like they're actually watching a screen because there's some light coming off of it, which is important. And that's it. That's pretty much how I make it. And I am super excited. I kind of want to add this to the room that I did. So you'll probably see some images of that. I have like four or five picture frames and I have a TV. So I will be adding something like this soon. All right. Let me know what you think. Give me a like. It really helps me, helps the channel. Uh, and shout out to everyone in the Nomad community for all the support. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. The scene is 28.2. Don't forget to decimate. Decimate is your friend. Could probably bring this down a lot. Bring our plane down. Validate it. Sometimes I like to I like to look and see what is actually taking up the majority of the scene. It'd be nice if you, if you had the sizes here. Oh, this sphere I don't need. It's not too bad. 14.6k. Uh, it's not too bad. You can probably bring it down a little lower, but it's good for now. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. If you want to see more, be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave, and also Facebook. There's some really great Facebook resources for Nomad Sculpt and Procreate, including my own group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.